What is going on, everyone? Leon checking in. Uh, this one, I have to announce something here. It finally happened. I call it the real life drop test, which is something that has probably happened to many of us. And the real life drop test is so much more than all these regular drop tests. No regular drop test ever compares to the real life drop test. So what we're talking about is I finally dropped the Pixel 2 XL in such a way that it caused the screen to crack. And this is actually a really good opportunity. It's something great to share with you, the viewers, because the Pixel 2 XL is still relevant. Although we've got the Pixel 3 XL coming out, the Pixel 2 XL is still an awesome phone that many people will probably want to buy because it's going to be cheaper than the 3XL. So I'm actually going to share what actually happened with the 2XL. I'm going to show that damage and I'm going to take the case off because I haven't actually done that yet. I want to see if there's some damage to the back as well. There's obviously some damage to the front because that's what I've noticed. And then we're going to talk about what happens after this, what my original plans were for the Google event coming up here, the products being released, what I was going to get had this not happened, and will I be getting the 3XL because this happened. So in situations like these, it's very important to do a close up. So looking at the phone here with the camera, as you can see, it doesn't really look apparent. Again, the screen protector does a really good job of concealing all the damage. And if we turn the screen off, if we turn it at an angle, just the right angle, you can see it become more apparent here. Let's go ahead and take the screen protector off and see if it becomes a little bit more apparent. So as you see, when we take the screen protector off, we got that nice corner there, a lot of cracked action going on there. Not only is this bad, to look at, but it actually doesn't allow the screen protector to sit nice and flush anymore. So looking at this at a different angle, this is going to be kind of hard to demonstrate, but we have a crack that goes all the way up here and shoots to the top right of the phone. Then we also have another crack here, which is going to shoot to the left side of the phone and again this is kind of hard to show but it ends up over here now as for the functions of the phone everything still seems to work fine there are no problems with the active edge that works like it should and the selfie camera still works fine it takes pictures just like you expect same thing with videos this is going to shoot perfectly fine as well now, the one thing I haven't checked with the Pixel 2 XL yet is if there is any back damage. So we're going to go ahead here and pull the case off. And this is where I'm kind of worried as well. But it actually looks fine here on the back. There's just some dirt because I didn't have a chance to really clean it off after this happened. But as you can see, things look really, really bad along this edge here, which is kind of odd because we have like this band here and you would think that would be more protective. What makes this damage really bad is that these glass pieces, they kind of just flake right off. After some extended period of use, I'm sure I'm going to be missing like a huge piece of glass here. You could just see it's still kind of just flaking off. And then what you're dealing with is possibly cutting yourself here. Okay, so the question is where does this leave me now that I have the Pixel 2 XL screen all messed up? So my original plan was to go with the Pixel Watch that was supposed to be coming out, but now that's not coming out according to an article that I seen on CNET, which I'll post in the description below. Now this is kind of a disappointment because I was looking forward to the Pixel Watch because I've never had a smartwatch and this would have been my first one. Now this is just such a coincidence that I dropped the Pixel 2 XL when Google's hosting their October event about their new devices and we all know the Pixel 3 XL will be coming out. And not only did I drop this, but the Pixel Watch that I was going to get 
is also canceled. So it's kind of like I was meant to go with the Pixel 3 XL and I'm pretty much going to it. It's pretty much in the bag because I can't use a device like this. So talking about the Pixel 3 XL, it looks like Google will possibly have their event on October 9th. And that's going to be when they're going to reveal it. But the thing is, there's been so many leaks about the Pixel 3 XL that it's really not even a surprise anymore. And I'm going to post these articles, these videos, whatever I can find in the description below. So you can just check them all out. But basically, we already know what the Pixel 3 XL is going to look like. It's going to have what many people are saying is a really big notch. And I really don't like this, not necessarily because of the notch, but it's just one of those trends that Apple started and everyone else started doing, and now Google's doing it. On the Pixel 2 XL, you don't have a notch, you just have bezels. But the notch itself, I really don't mind it. When I think of the Pixel 3 XL, I kind of just look at my Pixel 2 XL and envision it with that notch. And I would say I probably won't mind it at all. I'm kind of looking forward to it in a way as well, although it is being copied from everyone else who copied Apple. Now we're also supposed to be getting dual front facing speakers, which is what's on the Pixel 2 XL. And I'm glad to see that again. I am really looking forward to that. I just feel like you can't have a smartphone without dual front facing speakers in today's age where we're always listening to music or watching Netflix or YouTube or news videos, anything like that. Now, the next thing I'm excited about for the Pixel 3 XL is supposedly there's going to be wireless charging, which will be another first for me. I've never had a device with wireless charging, so I'd be looking forward to that and getting the wireless charging pad and all that cool stuff. Then we're supposed to be getting wired USB-C Pixel Buds, and again, all these go with these stolen units and their early unboxings. Now, of course, all these things can change because these were all stolen units and it's still a month out. So, you know, you just got to be open minded here. Now, when it comes to the Pixel 3 XL, we're looking at a Snapdragon 845 and it kind of disappointed four gigs of RAM only. And I would like to see more because that's what the Pixel 2 XL has already, four gigs of RAM and with games and multitasking i just feel like we need phones to be a little bit faster now because these are really becoming our computers they essentially are our computers i do so many things on this that i would do on my pixel book so to put it all in a nutshell i am most likely i'm i'm um, i'm pretty much there i'm going to be getting the pixel 3 xl because this happened if this hadn't happened Honestly, I would have waited until next year, quite possibly. I pretty much would have waited. Um, but with this being the way it is, with the screen being cracked, I, I just can't see myself going a whole nother year uh, with this device here. With that being said, the Pixel 2 XL is still an excellent phone. If there are people out there who don't want to shell out the money for that new Pixel 3 XL, because we all know it's going to be very expensive, the Pixel 2 XL would still be a great choice. And again, if this hadn't happened to my Pixel 2 XL, I would have stuck with this thing for another year, most likely. So that's pretty much it for this video today. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, make sure to leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, as always drop those below and I'll do my best to answer them. And if you can, hit that subscribe button, it'll support the channel. And until next time, Leon checking out.